So I've received a request to cover a particular topic in terms of principal living and the topic is principled money spending. Uh, what do I consider principled when spending money and time on products and services weekly? So um, I have done a video in the past with Joe on the topic of voting with your money. So I'm not going to repeat any of those points. Um, I will put the video in the description so that you can watch it if you haven't already or watch it to get a refresher on those particular points. It covered um, the effects of um, uh, conscious spending and um, uh, voting with your money and the effects that group efforts in boycotting and um, supporting products can have. So now here, this is a very wide topic. Uh, it has a lot of dimensions involved. So I'm going to try and keep the focus on the one point that is relevant across the board in this topic and in all other topics, which is it's not so much about what we do most of the time, it's about who we are within what we're doing. So who am I within the money that I'm spending? Who am I within the time that I'm spending on the things? And obviously now I'm not including points like um, things that are in their very nature unacceptable like abuse and exploitation and things like that. However, we do need to realize that every part of the current world, world system does support these um, subsystems of, for example, exploitation and abuse and um, unsustainable management of land and resources and all sorts of awful things. So the question becomes, okay, in this world where everything is pretty fucked up and no matter what you do, which way you turn, how do you practice principled um, spending on anything? So my approach to it is, who am I within what I'm spending my money on, for example? So I will focus myself and my efforts on obviously first of all survival I have to pay the bills um, I have to have to pay for certain services that allow me to do what I do like the internet for example um, food um, electricity food for the animals things like that and then outside of basic survival we now have the zone of if you are fortunate enough to have money left over after that, what do you do with it? So there is no right or wrong here. There is no good or bad. There's no ethical, or unethical in terms of who we are and how we want to support ourselves in this life. So, within that extra funds, if you're lucky enough to have extra funds, who are you? Uh, what do you choose to support? Um, things that might come up are things like personal interests, like if you're interested in artwork or in gardening or in a particular sport or whatever, that would be something that it's up to you if you want to allocate some of your funds towards that. Um, I'm not going to tell anyone how to live. I'm not going to tell anyone what's right or wrong because it's really about who you are. It's back to that point of within this spending, what am I 
choosing to express within myself. So it's the point of, if I'm looking at buying something, am I buying it because I'm being driven by this desire to spend money and to have stuff and that I know that after a week I'm not actually going to be using it, it's just going to sit on the cupboard and eventually I'll just give it away or is it something that I know I'm going to make good use of this, I am going to look after it, I'm going to make sure that I follow through with my commitment of actually using this product because when you're buying something you're making a commitment to make good use of this because it is a resource that is coming from a planet that has limited resources or at least in the way that things are being managed now it, it's there is going there is an expiry coming up that we're facing where we are going to deplete our resources because we're not uh, managing the global resources sustainably so if I am walking in a shopping center and I see a dress I like I it doesn't mean that it's not a nice dress or that it that I, I wouldn't like to have it but who I am within deciding whether to actually buy it or not is okay do I have sp um, an opening in my wardrobe for this meaning that um, how many clothes do I have am I actually wearing the clothes that I have now or would this just be something nice to have that I'm gonna wear maybe once a year and obviously now from my perspective I'm working with a no limited budget so I spend my funds that I have very not carefully but carefully so I might see a dress that I like, I might really want it, but I'm not going to follow that desire to buy the dress just because I really want it. I'm going to first check, do I need it? Um, if I don't need it, then okay, if I buy it, what am I actually going to do with it? Am I going to use it effectively? Is it practical for me to have? Um, does it suit my lifestyle? Is it something that I'm just going to wear once a year and then forget it, that I ever have it until I find it in my cupboard and go, oh wow, I forgot I had this. So, this is kind of a, a tricky topic because on the one hand, yes, we we should do things that we enjoy and support ourselves within doing things that we enjoy and on the other hand there also needs to be a balance in if we have the capacity to also give of our time or skills or resources to um, areas of life or to organizations or groups or whatever that are promoting um, a change or a a way of living or a method or whatever that we agree with and that we'd like to see grow then we have that responsibility so but that again is like so few people have the capacity to for example give money to a, an organization or something um, and there are a lot of people who don't have time to give or don't necessarily have particular skills to give um, well, they have, at that point in their lives, nothing to give because their focus is solely on their survival. So, it's not about compromising ourselves to try and help others. It's about getting ourselves to a position where we can contribute. 
where we can be part of creating change in our communities, whether it's our local communities or the internet community or the global community. So I'm going to leave it here for now, but if you do have any particular questions on this point, then please do ask. Um, I know I was a little bit long-winded, but it's kind of one of those points that has a lot of dimensions to consider. So, um, leave a message or a comment uh, if you'd like me to elaborate or go into to answer specific questions on this topic or other topics. Otherwise, you can support me on Patreon. The link is in the description. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.